Richard Overton was born in Bastrop County just after the turn of the century in 1906. He joined the Army in 1940 before the U.S. entered World War II. Overton was part of an all-black unit stationed at Pearl Harbor when the Japanese attacked. His unit fought in some of the toughest battles of the war, including fights in Iwo Jima and Okinawa. The president wanted me to come with him, but I'm surprised he called me. In 2013, Overton traveled to Washington, D.C., where he got to chat with then-President Barack Obama. <laughs> On his return to Austin, people packed ABIA to cheer for him and show their support. Overton told us that welcome was a great ending to one of his best Veterans Day celebrations ever. That same year, Mayor Lee Leffingwell presented Richard Overton with a birthday proclamation at City Hall. In 2014, Austin Community College gave the veteran an honorary degree. Overton told us despite what he accomplished over the span of more than a century, he doesn't think he's exceptional. I'm just a person. I'm not a hero. I ain't done nothing. I ain't done nothing. Nobody else couldn't do. Nobody else just wasn't able to do what I'd done. That's they bad luck. <laughs> in 2016, he became the subject of a documentary called Mr. Overton. And in 2017, the honors started piling up. The Austin City Council approved a resolution giving Hamilton Avenue the honorary name Richard Overton Avenue. A healing garden at the VA Austin Outpatient Clinic was renamed for him as well. The community also rallied around Overton holding multiple fundraisers to help him with the costs of home health care. Meals on Wheels Central Texas and the Home Depot Foundation even teamed up to renovate his home. That's the same home he built in 1948 after returning home from World War II. At a birthday party he shared with us his secret to longevity. I used to drink whiskey a long time ago. I always drink a little bit. That kept me alive. I was living so long. Whiskey help you. The same as medicine, if you take it right. Despite his age, Overton also smoked 12 cigars a day. In 2014, Overton shared with us a message for other veterans that summed up his outlook on life. Keep on living a life and be a good man.